avoid Dival Hill. If you see a law stone, touch it. What's this? You won't be sorry. Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the Warsworn. <laughs> Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. <laughs> you could head straight to Shieldring Keep and pledge your sword might work, but a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. To earn it, you must do something commendable. There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krast. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in coin and my good word. <laughs> Osgar hides somewhere in the woods north of here. Medgar was last seen east of his brother's camp. Bring me their legion daggers, and I'll pay with coin and a commendation to join the order. Right then. Hey there. That fey girl, if you see a law stone, touch it. I am Katrin. Do you require my healing touch in mind, body, or both? Be safe.
pure heart. Stay close to the village. Whatever you do, avoid the monks of St. Odwig's Perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. Their light of hope will leave you in shadow. If such creatures were not part of the Authority's plan, then they would not exist in nature, period. Mitharu's divine order governs all, even the Fae. It is the name I chose when I baptized myself in the clear waters of Matharu. I have undergone the ordination rites, and am as legitimate as any monk. You don't know. It is less a mission than a fortress of deception, a citadel of lies. It throws its menacing shadow over all of Gorhart. Father Dinwell will try to defend his cause, but he is simply a soldier, marching to the orders passed down to him. None of them have minds of their own. He would be a good man if he could see past the rigidity of his faith. Mitharu embraces all, not simply those that the Church deems worthy. She was wronged by someone in this village. That is an injustice I can understand. By its appearance, you'd assume Gorhart is a pleasant place. Never make assumptions. Welcome to St. Odwig's Perpetual Mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. We at St. Odwig's have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. He is a good boy, but our youngest and Egan often suffers from doubt. 
That is to be expected. One can only grow out of conflict, especially conflict of the spirit. I tried my best to comfort him and tell him that wisdom would come in time, but he is impatient. Brash. He wanted a faster way to enlightenment and power. The Fey are stubborn fools. They treat their souls like toys, with no thought of right or wrong, chaos or order. I have been with the mission since its founding. These boys are like my sons. I live my life as an example of Mitharu's wishes for our kind. Frustrating, that one, stubborn to the spirit. She claims to know the will of Mitharu better than those of us who have spent a lifetime studying scripture. If only she would be touched by the hand of reason. Goodbye. Nothing to see back here. Just a man working for his pay. We in Gorhart like to stay focused on our business. That way the face stay focused on theirs. Gorhart is an Almain settlement, so you won't find too many Alpha here. They tend to stay close to Rathia, their city on the coast. I don't mind them. If there was ever a reason to believe that Fae and mortals cannot live together, it is this strange and brutal war. The Alpha fight without any true knowledge of the enemy they face. I've seen this kind of conflict before, and it never ends well. The peace between mortals and the Fey is a passing one. They will always see us as occupiers of this land. We borrow what can never be given. Those fools in that mission on the hill are wasting their days. Creatures of such power do not worship gods. They are gods. Suits my needs just fine. It's remote, away from the shadows of the Crystal Wall. It's also quiet. Well, most of the time. What do you know of the Red Legion? Whatever it is, forget it. You'll be safer, wiser and better off in the end. Ignorance is bliss, my friend.
Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmar and the Eternal, messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. Wait, Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down, too. I have new friends, Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos, and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> they are Fey Twins, and they are beautiful, magical creatures. They've promised to teach me magic, to help me see the world as it really is. All they require of me is to fetch for them this relic. It's quite a bargain, believe me. Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. I'm new to the Feylands. Until I joined the mission, I'd never even left my home village. That's why I volunteered. I wanted to see the world. I want to visit the gardens of Issa, to meet gnomes and Alfar, to live. The Order of Mitharu was a good way to leave home, but I want so much more. It sounds rather silly, doesn't it? I had a feeling it would. I need a mage name for when I become all-powerful, for when my magic is so great that no one will dare dispute me. What about Abner the Visionary, or Malik the Nefarious, Lord Zaltanus? No? And those were the good ones. Mortal races have no lasting grasp on this world, and in time the Fair Ones shall be our masters, beautiful and mighty. They believe I have the potential to succeed where all others have failed, including them. You see, they can't obtain what they desire, so they need someone more powerful to do it. Then they will bestow upon me the wisdom of the Fae. It is in the caves of Waterhall Down. A refuge for the wild fae. See you later.
we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest. Ask Father Dinwell. Local legend says that the great Fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. Goodbye now. <laughs> <laughs>